Hello there again. Just currently doing my preview on the Celta Vigo game. As I said, I was going to be doing it on Wednesday. I decided I'm going to be doing it today instead. The Celta Vigo game on Thursday in the second leg of the Europa League semi final. But going in that, our unbeaten run had just been ended by Arsenal, so it looks like now top four could be over, as I mentioned. So Mourinho's assets is the Europa League. But on Sunday, I didn't expect us to win, really, with how tactical Mourinho played and how defensive we were. But for the first half, very largely uneventful, and for after Jacquard's goal, Jacquard goal, sorry if I'm pronouncing these names wrong, they completely changed it, lifted lifted up, but Arsenal were dominant, but you could tell, with the style of football and play, you could tell now it used to be a heavyweight fixture and a title decider back in the day, especially... Under the Fergie area and all great football legends, Keane, Skulls, Van Nistelrooy, Giggs, and for Arsenal, Henri, Vieira, Burkamp and all the, and all the rest. But don't see that, that now. It was it was fifth against six, and us and Arsenal, two ban average teams at this moment in time. For Axel Tunez to be played well on Sunday, had Sanchez in his back pocket. Had San had had Sanchez in his back pocket. Um, thought he was our best player on Sunday. Thought eight different changes that he made was too much. Thought he said, thought he should have started Bailey at the back and Pogba. But like I said, a lack of desire, such a lack of desire and urgency, and not playing with no heart or passion on Sunday. Not only on Sunday, recent league games before that, and all the fucking draws we've suffered at home. You know, even when one of them games we would have been in the mix for the top four, but we. Had a great result against Chelsea, a team that's flying and he's now going to win the league. Excellent performance at Burnley and a scrappy 0-0 draw at City, but played well defensively. But the tempo has dropped since since then. The tempo has dropped since then, prior to the Europa League, which was a good away display. But said, there's issues in that team that needs to be addressed. And when Pogba's out, we seem to lack creativity in the midfield. And not attacking well enough, so still issues. Obviously, the position we are in now, we should be challenging, challenging for the league. The amount of money we have spent, but now I'll settle for the Europa League. But we would have a, we would have, would we have been in a worse position if if it wasn't for Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Can't really say, but of some of our fans have quoted, get rid of Mourinho if we don't get Champions League football next season. Like I said. Before, totally disagree, we can still win a potential double and that's good for Mourinho in his first season. If we can finish the season on a high, I think over, we've had a better season than City definitely and Arsenal. So if we can get the Europa League and top four, which I can't see now, we've got to basically win every game. I think we have a better, we've had a better season than Arsenal because the way that Chelsea are playing and the style of football that Conte has got them playing, I... I... I I think Arsenal will struggle to handle that pressure, but Mourinho needs time to build up the squad and strengthen the team up. But I ain't been here. He ain't been here for even a year. But look at Venner Arsenal. He's under some pressure to leave Arsenal. He's been there about 21 year, and when that um and and went nine years without winning for all. So Mourinho needs time, and I've always rated rated. Rated him, he's my number one manager anywhere. I think who needs to go in the summer? Smalling, Jones, Carrick, Runit, Fellaini and Mkhitaryan. But Mourinho linked up with so many strikers. We need one to replace Ibrahimovic with an elite striker. Also read online earlier that Ibrahimovic is the best played player in the Premier League. And Pogba gets a huge rise in 165,000 a week if we get Champions League football next season. Anyway, going into the Celta Vigo game, we currently have that 1-0 lead and that vital away goal to take to Old Trafford. So we have the advantage now to go through on paper. Currently, the first leg really should have been more, as I mentioned. Then we had we had chances left, right and centre. And Rashford and Pogba were the two plus players. Rashford and Pogba are two best players on the pitch. So hopefully we can do it and get us back in the Champions League. So also maybe Mourinho to find out what what capable for the rest of the team, the capability for the rest of the team. Hopefully some of these get the opportunity to play for the rem remainder of the season, these under-23 players. Anyway, our main priority is Thursday night. It's time for us to step up and show what we are made of. Anyway, take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye.